Hey guys, it's Moz here. We just got a new software update in the Model S. And it's being pushed right now to all SX3s and Ys. It is the 2023 12.1 software update. And so this one includes a control search, basically to find any kind of settings or options through a search function. And a very detailed point of interest Finally, you can do phone call controls by answering, declining, or even muting from your scroll wheel, which was possible in the old SNXs, but not in the new ones, or the threes and Ys. Uh, this is a big one for SNX only. You can move the passenger seat forward and backwards in order to let make it easier for your passengers to get in or out. Um, that's a really cool one. I'll show you guys how that works in a second. And they've added British English voice recognition. Uh, some really cool features. Uh, there's two features in here for the SNX that the that we didn't get that the three and Y got. And that is, I believe, there's one where you can customize the left scroll wheel even more, and uh, you can change the font size in the vehicle. Now, um, I don't know why they didn't bring that over to the SNX, but the font in everything I'm noticing so far looks a little bit, bit more bolder. So that's maybe one good thing. But uh, here, let me show you. So here's the search function up top. And you can click search and you can find any setting you're looking for. If I want autopilot settings, I type in autopilot and everything autopilot related pops up. If I want suspension, that pops up right away and you can use it from here as well. So it's a nice way if you don't want to dig through menus of, of settings, like for sentry mode, all you gotta do is search it up and it pops right up here. Another thing they added is again, points of interest. So I can click on a business here. Now it brings up the business information as usual, but also brings up reviews and photos from that business is very cool very welcome change and even for superchargers it brings up the pictures of the supercharger so they can easily find it really cool really cool feature So they added that and then let me show you so I can do this from the front screen or the rear screen I'll show you both but now they have this used to be just the heated seat option so which you can still do but now they also added these arrows To move the seats forward and backwards. So here, I'm moving it forward here. It's really cool when you're trying to have passengers leave through the rear seats. Or if you want to make more room for someone trying to get into the car. I saw a bunch of third party rear screens offering this feature for the threes and whys. Uh, so it's really cool that they brought it into this car officially. I know they changed the font or the design of this, of these apps over here as well. But let me show you the seat function from the back. So if I'm sitting back here, I now have the option. Again, the same usual controls. Looks like the design down here has changed a little bit as well. All the font and everything looks a bit different. The apps here still function as normal. But now, instead of just having seat heat options, I can move this seat back and forward. Which really make it easier to get in and out 
this back seat. So that's pretty cool. And again, this only works if no one is sitting in the seat. Actually, I don't know about that. But I said it only works if the car is not in motion. But let me try sitting in the front and see if the seat moves. tilted to our preference here. Let me try moving the seat. Oh, yep, it does move. So the seat is moving. It's kind of annoying. I wouldn't want it to be able to be moved if I'm just sitting in here. But yeah, at least it's something. Maybe they'll disable that sometime in the future. But either way, cool update. Much appreciated update. It's good to see nice changes coming to the car. See you guys in the next one.